What's up guys and welcome to the Cryptic Design Labs. Uh, this is my first tutorial and I'm going to show you how to create a jewelry exhibition stand design. Uh, we, uh, the size we are opting for is uh, 3 meter by 3 meters tall. Uh, so without further ado, let's start this. Uh, first go to customize and unit setup. Uh, the most important uh, thing while designing any exhibition or stage design is to uh, set up your units correctly and uh, we'll be using uh, feet and inches so uh, I set my uh, unit setup to feet uh, with fractional inches you can find it here and you can uh, choose whichever you want but uh, I'm going for 132 as I find it much more convenient and default units to feet okay so uh, by 3 meter by 3 meter uh, it means that uh, uh, it is uh, uh, going to be approximate approximately 10 feet by 10 feet so we can either go for that or we can uh, manually type 3 meter by 3 meter while we are creating our, uh, our basic rectangles and all and uh, the best best way to uh, create geometries in uh, while designing uh, exhibition stalls is uh, to work with uh, splines so I'm going to go for uh, shapes rectangle and first of all I I'll draw a rectangle uh, now you can s now you see that uh, my snap is on uh, I should turn it off and uh, here our size says uh, 5 feet 10 inches by 4 feet 2 inches uh, this is because uh, uh, our grid size is set to 10 uh, uh, yes inches uh, we are going to change it by coming to snip grid and snap settings home grid and we'll make it one so that which, uh, whatever thing we make uh, will be in proper dimensions uh, just that if we are using uh, snap setting so I'm going to uh, go for 10 feet or either I can type uh, 3m for meter by 3m for meter so uh, this is going to be a base uh, of our stall and uh, one more important thing is uh, okay uh, sorry uh, one more important thing is that we uh, what whatever base we create it will lie on the origin uh, it should lie on the origin so i'm going to uh, m uh, make its position by zeroing out these values you can zero out these values by right clicking on it like so and so uh, so as you can see it's a uh, x equals 0 y equals 0 z equals 0 so this is going to be a proper base uh, with proper position I'm going to give it a uh, uh, extrude modifier and uh, uh, normal standard for uh, every stall is uh, but the height of every base is uh, 4 inches so I'm going to give it 4 inches this is going to be a proper base of uh, a model so uh, every jewelry has uh, stalls has different type of designs like there is an island island stall uh, which does not have any wall uh, around it uh, there's three side open stall two side open stall one side open stall so uh, we are uh, in this uh, for the purpose of this tutorial we are going for uh, three uh, one side open stall mostly jewelry uh, jewelry stalls are like that only so I'm going to make my first uh, wall here go to top view right click or you can go to shapes rectangle and we are going to roughly create a rectangle but uh, as you can see that if you are going to properly pay, play, uh, create a wo create a rectangle then you can see that uh, some or the other portion is uh, extrude, uh, pro protruding out uh, so we can get out of that issue by turning on our snaps you can press S or you can just click here snaps toggle <coughs> and uh, we are going to snap by the vertex so I'm going to go and change grid points to vertex so that whatever I make will snap uh, from the vertex of other models or other geometries so I'm going to take a rectangle and create oh 
sorry still there's something wrong anyways I'm going to del delete this and try it again so I'm going from this to I think I can go like that and go to modify panels and uh, here you can see that uh, its length is zero as we have snapped from this uh, vertex to this vertex so I'm going to make it uh, like uh, 10 inches so you, you just type 10 and give a quotation mark for inches okay fine we are good to go uh, for the main shape of it and now uh, the most important thing is to snap this uh, geometry here so that uh, uh, nothing will go outside the boundary uh, so I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, affect its pivot and set it to here and off turn it off and place it here so as you can see we have got uh, everything inside our boundary uh, uh, so base basic uh, height of uh, every stall will be eight meter uh, sorry eight feet so we have to include this also the base of 4 inches plus 7 feet 8 inches so we are going to uh, make its height uh, give it an extrude modifier and uh, extrude it for 7 feet I've given a single coat and 8 inches as you can see it, uh, this will be a proper height for it so I've given it 8 uh, uh, 10 inches depth 7 feet 8 inches height ok and the uh, width will be same as our uh, base so uh, first side is covered uh, and we are going to make another uh, other sides also so I am taking this same geometry uh, sorry I have to toggle this uh, angle snap toggle also I'm pressing shift and we copied it ok going to place this here as you can see uh, by turning on your snaps uh, it makes it easier for uh, easier to work and uh, align geomet geometries properly so I have uh, I placed it here and uh, you can do one another thing is uh, mirror this tool is very uh, one of the uh, most powerful tool in uh, uh, while designing stage design so I am going to make it instance ok and placing it here mm. just hold on up. yeah ok it's fine so uh, now what we have to do is to uh, create uh, uh, shelves for uh, placing our jewelry mannequins. Uh, so I'm going to go for front view. I'm pressing F4 for wireframes. And uh, uh, mostly people, what people do is uh, uh, take uh, uh, one and a half uh, feet height and after that they place proper shelves for mannequins and we are going to do boolean so that uh, we can it will be concealed inside that wall that's why we made it 10 uh, inches so uh, I'm going to use another rectangle this time I'm going to use auto grid what auto grid uh, does is uh, it uh, creates an automatic grid on the base of uh, on the surface of an object in which we are creating it so we did it like that go to front view and mm, place it around roughly around 1.5 meter or you can do one thing is you can create a one and a half meter height uh, rectangle 1.5 and just roughly place it so that you can align its height and all uh, so uh, yeah, the height of uh, this uh, shelf will be 
like uh, one meter and I'm going for seven seven feet five inches seven point uh, sorry seven feet six inches I think this is good and uh, we have to zero out uh, the exposition of it so that it will lie in center and we are going to align it like so okay One, uh, one another thing I'm I'm leaving uh, I'm going to make two shelves actually uh, one here and one here so I'm going to give them a dif distance of four inches like so place it just right here and copy this down okay uh, and you can delete this one fine so what we are going to do with this geometry is we uh, will we are going to create a, a boolean object from which we can uh, cons uh, do an uh, boolean uh, for it and so I'm going to convert this to editable spline and attach this one to it so that we can we don't have to do boolean again and again uh, I'm going to give it an extrude of uh, 9 inches minus 9 inches as our uh, main wall is 10 inches